This episode of Techzilla Daily is brought to you by GoDaddy. Patrick Dorn here, Techzilla Daily from CTIA 2010. That's the wireless show here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We've been talking a lot about cell phones. Let's take a look at a cell phone accessory. This is Wilson Electronics Sleek. It's a universal cell phone signal booster. It's a really simple concept. Unlike the big expensive Wilson amplifiers, this one, there's a little tiny cradle that goes up by your dashboard. You drop your cell phone into it, and it amplifies your signal. The whole idea of Wilson Electronics, several other companies do, is allow you to improve your signal in places where the signal ain't so hot. This is good. I've used the out in the backcountry and even in San Francisco because, well, RF propagation sucks in my hometown. Here's the problem. A lot of people are proposing to the FCC that they, well, not exactly outlaw cell phone amplifiers, but make them a lot more, well, you know what, let me talk to Joe Bano, COO of Wilson Electronics. Joe, what's going on with the proposals in front of the FCC and the regulation changes? What started this is there's product out there that does not well work as well as it should, does create some problems, ours don't. Our core competency is making transparent products, but it's a customer satisfaction tool. It's a customer retention tool for the carriers. So if I was to summarize it, in my opinion, lack of communications. In being able to communicate to the carriers that the product works. And there are a lot of people out there that need it. So it's getting there. At this point, are, are the regulations going to make amplifiers illegal, or are they going to force you to only use amplifiers if the carrier actually sells them? That's right. Only Well, only if they approve them. But for years, it's always been the FCC that does the approval. And the, the theory itself is not necessarily incorrect of the carriers. It's just that they won't have any dialogue with us. So how can we ever get an amplifier that will be approved if we can't even talk to them? And it's a shame because it's a tool that can help the end users have better service, can help the carriers retain the customers. So some of the carriers claim that cell phone amplifiers pretty much, they crush other people's signal, they destroy access. I mean, are, if I use an amplifier, am I really going to ruin access for other customers on that network? No, not a Wilson amplifier. We know how to do it. We can explain to them how to do it and how we do it. But no, you won't. Now, obviously, you're biased towards Wilson Electronics, but are, are, are there are there some are there in some cases where cell phone amplifiers are creating problems across the board? There are other amplifiers that have no protection in them uh, that have caused problems. The Wilson amplifier today uh, will work in probably 99% of the situations. The one percent of the time that it won't work without getting technical, the amplifier is smart enough to shut itself down and not create problems. So that's the key to the whole thing. We know when to shut it. It knows when to shut itself off. I need to make sure I've got a new enough amplifier that it knows to shut itself off. Ladies and gentlemen, Wilson Electronics, CTIA, show floor 2010. If you're looking for more mobile and wireless coverage, do us a favor, go to Texilla at revision3.com. I want to take a moment to thank our sponsor, GoDaddy.com. They make it easy to customize your own virtual dedicated server. they got three popular plans you can choose from, or you can select your own Linux or Windows server with all the plan options you need. Do us a favor, check out revision3.com slash GoDaddy. You're going to find all of the amazing GoDaddy deals from Revision 3, but if you use the code TZD8, and this is just one of the codes we have, you'll get 10% off of any GoDaddy.com order. You like Texilla Daily? Do us a favor, shop at GoDaddy.com and use one of those TZD codes.